I mean, we are ruled by the sun. The sun didn't ask everybody to revolve around it. The sun don't care about none of y'all. Like, but we still just be around the sun. You know what I'm saying? So it's really like that. Like, it's really like that. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I want to get used to recording videos in the nighttime because honestly, that's when I want to record the most. And like the day be like flying by and like, you know, so it is nighttime. Hopefully you guys are okay with the vibe right now. Um, but in this video, I want to talk about how to win over a Leo woman. And the reason why I want to do this is because for one, I am a Leo woman, Scorpio moon as well. So if you are interested in a Leo woman, Scorpio moon, this is really the video for you. But um, I wanted to do this because, you know, I keep up with these sorts of videos for research purposes and just curiosity. Oh, I saw some. That scared me. It was nothing though. Okay. Um, yeah. So I've seen a couple of things and not to say that what's out there about Leos is wrong or bad or any of those things because not necessarily. But I just want to come and talk on behalf of Leo women as a Leo woman. That's really my only intention for why I want to do this video. Okay, so I will say that I do also want to give my opinion on every zodiac sign like the men. I want to give my opinion on the men of every zodiac sign. So look out for that series coming as well. And it'll be quick and to the point because I don't, I don't go into depth because it's not like I really know it's for real. But anyways, so... Leo woman. Woo, first things first, Leo, Leos, Leos in general, I have to say this, Leo men and Leo women, unlike most of the other signs, are pretty much very similar. Virgo men, Virgo women, not the same. Leo man, Leo woman, very similar. <laughs> very similar. So I want to just say that. So honestly, if you're interested in finding out about a Leo man, you could really honestly get away with watching this video as well. But, all right, so Leo women, first things first, super misunderstood. Leo women have a reputation. Can we focus? There we go. Leo women have a reputation for wanting to be the center of attention. And what is this? Looking nasty. Is that? Is that? Do I see something else? Am I tripping? All right. We're good. So Leo women have this reputation for wanting to be the center of attention. And I definitely get where that comes from. Uh, I get it. But Leo Leos are misunderstood because honestly, it's not even necessarily that we want to be the center of attention. It's more so that who we are, our energy, our vibe, it people just, we have a pull on people. People gravitate towards us and make us the center of attention and i know you're probably like this is such a leo saying this shit but no i'm so freaking serious i mean we are ruled by the sun the sun didn't ask everybody to revolve around it the sun don't care about none of y'all like but we still just be around the sun you know what i'm saying so it's really like that like it's really like that and that's not to say that i don't feel like some Leo women want the attention, of course, because we thrive in it. Like that's our environment. We are comfortable there. If you put a spotlight on us, we're not going to shy away. We're going to be like, oh, okay. It's on me. What's up? Like we're not scared. <laughs> so oh, that's that. Um, but that doesn't mean that Leo women cannot be shy because I am extremely shy, but I talk through my shyness. So you'll never know because I'll just be talking. And I'll be like, I'm really shy right now. And then a guy would be like, how? And I'm like, you fine. Like, I'm, I'm scared. Like, don't, don't break my heart. No, but for real, Leo women can honestly be really shy. Um, but we will talk through the shyness. And in fact, one of like, if I'm ever at a party and I'm by myself or just anywhere by myself, and I didn't do it when I was younger, but immature versus mature, it can get really complex. Um... But I do it now, like if I'm somewhere and I'm like awkward, like in an awkward, empty space or don't know anybody or something like that, I am the one to go up to someone and just start a conversation. Oh my gosh, I love your sweater. I don't give, um, 
I only give genuine am I dying like I only give genuine compliments but I will find something that I genuinely like about a person I'll look at someone find someone who looks interesting or whoever I intuitively feel called towards and I'll go up to them and I'll spark a conversation because I don't want to be standing there looking awkward by myself like so that can also be where this misconception of wanting to be in the spotlight spotlight comes from because we're the type where if I'm hanging out with a group of girls and I don't know any of those girls by the end of the night the majority if not all of them we're gonna be friends because y'all not I'm not finna be the oddball out right now I'm gonna chit 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 chat it up and we tend to be people pleasers until we get old enough to realize that we can't be pleasing everybody and then we grow out of that but leos tend to be people pleasers they want to make everybody happy sometimes that energy will come off and it'll come off on it as a negative way because people will be like look at her she's doing the most look at him they're doing the most um when really we we just want people that are in our atmosphere in our aura in our environment we want people to have fun around us and we want we want people to like us because we're people pleasers until like i said we grow up and mature and get out of that and really don't care how people see us or feel about us then that tends to change i mean we still care but we tend to uh exert less energy towards that you know what i mean anyways so i say all that to say that if you want to attract a leo and keep a leo you have to keep up with that energy and you have to be secure in that energy i've dated several men who could not be secure with the fact that i'm gonna be the life of the party at least typically i mean i might grow out of that and change but for the most part as a leo i'm gonna be the life of the party i'm especially when it's my party okay i'm gonna be a host i walk around i i will dance with other people other people will dance with me in a respectful way and honestly i went through a whole relationship and i had to learn how to be more respectful in that sense and so yeah um in a respectful way but if a if a guy that i've been friends with for the majority of my life comes to one of my parties i'm gonna make sure he has a good time because you came out to support me but i have dealt with men who were Im not immature but just wasn't confident and secure with the fact that that's my woman she only wants me and she is being a host right now she's being a pleaser she's being a people pleaser whatever um but that's that's who we are that's just it's in our nature now we can change if we like you we can and we will change it's not that big of a deal but it might take some time depending on where that person is in their life what they're experiencing at the time um but one thing another thing about leos is leos only change when they want to change when they truly want to change they're not going to change for you it's either you're going to accept them or you're going to get out but that's how it should be with every sign but especially with the leo leos are very confident and um you need to have some confidence as well mainly because if how they are but if you if you yourself suffer from like low self-esteem and stuff it really just depends on how that manifests um if it's something that people don't really know you don't really make it known you're not really like obsessive jealous and tripping out because of your in low insecurity or whatever you'll be fine and in fact a leo will most likely help you get out of that because leos pay compliments the same love and respect we want to be shown we show others so we will boost you up we'll hype you up we're the hype man we're the cameraman um and so if, if you have low self-esteem dating a leo would be good for you because they're going to make you feel like you are the baddest thing on the planet because that's truly how they feel about you because another thing about leos is leos are picky and we do not play hard to get so if a leo is playing hard to get they do not want to get got <laughs> period if a leo is playing hard to get they do not want to get got they're playing with you an immature leo is all about feeding the ego so yes they might string you along to feed their ego if you're giving them that time that attention that they need to feel good about themselves okay so there's that um i feel like i already touched on this but i'll touch on it again leos are very loyal and devoted and faithful when they want to be again um when they want to be they are not going to go anywhere leos are a fixed sign we don't like change once we find you leech on to you we not trying to let go 
And in fact, Leos are not typically the ones to break up relationships and end relationships because of that. Now, I'm not saying that they won't. I'm just saying that it's just less likely because we are a fixed sign. We don't like change. We are the ride or dies. Like, let's work it out. Let's fix it. Unless it gets to the point to where we are just completely being disrespected and walked all over because we do have confidence. Even if someone is mistreating us in a relationship, our confidence is still there. So we will be aware that we're not being treated, right? And we will slowly be planning our escape route because we are fixed signs. So we're not the type to just boom, get up and leave you, um, which is also another reason why we don't typically ghost people or disappear. And if we do do that, we really don't like you um, or we're really angry or you really did something. You did something. OK, but um, and my battery is dying, so I got to wrap this up. Jesus. Um, see, now I'm distracted because my battery is dying. But, uh, okay, give me a second. Okay, y'all, my battery died, but I'm back. And I'm gonna, um, start talking to you guys about how to attract and keep the Leo woman. Now that you guys know a little bit something about Leo women and, I mean, some good takeaways. How you're gonna attract them. You're going to attract them by being genuine, being authentic, not playing games, and words of affirmation a lot of words of affirmation bonus points for spoiling them with gifts to sum it all up right because leo women need to hear that you're interested they want to hear how you feel they want to hear what you're thinking they need to hear it we leo women have to hear it okay um and it shouldn't be to the point where it's like excessive, like they need to hear it all the time, but they definitely want to hear it and they definitely want to hear it enough. And I said bonus points for spoiling with them with gifts because Leo women are like the princesses of the Zodiac. Again, they're, we're, we're ruled by the sun, so we like things given to us. Like we, we do, when it comes to relationships, when it comes to our man, yes, we want all the spotlight on us, all the love, all the compliments, all of that. Because one thing about Leo women is like, it's not that we don't like the compliments and stuff like that, but we only like it when it's genuine and we only like it when it comes from the right people. So if you know a Leo woman and she's like social media famous, um... Like, yeah, she's not reading the comments and like really internalizing any of that. Like she hears it, whatever, but more than likely she's already confident. So she got a gang of men in her comments, like you're this, you're this, you're this and that. She's like, okay, ugh, next, like, ugh, I know that. You know what I'm saying? But when it's coming from a man that she actually wants and wants to be with, it's like, oh, girl, he said I'm beautiful. Like, you know what I'm saying? Two totally different we really don't, if it's a compliment coming from somebody we don't care, don't like, don't want, thanks for the compliment. Keeping it pushing. But, um, yeah, so if they really like you, if they really like you, the compliments you give them are going to, it's going to hit different. Even if they have a mask up, curls itchy. Even if they have a mask up of like, oh, thanks, and okay, like, thank you, in the inside they're like okay because we're leo women are diehard romantics um yeah be good to them let me tell you something if you do all the right things say all the right things and you get a leo attached to you and then you start effing up yes she they might stick around for a while they might stick around for a while but they're not going to stick around forever these are not the type of women that will stick beside you forever if you just keep continuously mistreating them. Eventually, they will get in that lioness energy and leave you. It might take a while because, like I said, we are fixed sign. We are loyal. We are faithful. We are devoted. We are ride or dies. We're going to want to work it out. But they will walk it out. I just want to say that. Um, and then they're never going to look back. Never. So be yourself. A Leo woman can tell when you're not being yourself. Doesn't matter if you feel like you're not 
if you feel like you're not up to par or whatever it is, still don't put on a front. Don't come inauthentic. Be yourself still. A Leo, a Leo is going to like you or they're not. And you don't want them to like you for an image that you're portraying and you're not even that person. Why be fake? You're just wasting everybody's time. Okay. So you're going to attract them and you're going to keep them by being loyal, faithful, authentic, complimenting them, spoiling them if you can, if you have the funds, if you have the money to, because honestly, Leos will be attracted to men with money, but you don't have to have money. Just keep yourself put together, look nice. You still, you can't be a bum. You can't be a bum, but Leos are not really, typically, uh, they're more into love than they are into money, so. Anyways, I hope this video was helpful. It was freaking long as heck, but I hope it was helpful. I love you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Let me know what you guys think about the setup, if the vibe is okay, because, I mean, this is my natural element. This is what I'm doing a lot of the time. So it's easier for me to record this way. I would love to know your opinion on it. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.